Hey y'all, how y'all doing? What's going on? So we do have some updates on Erica Mena and Love and Hip Hop. I don't know if you guys know, but it's been something nasty ever since Erica called uh, Spice a blue monkey. Well, Erica Mena says that, hey, they are just using her for clickbait, honey, okay? Mona Scott came out talking about it, and I came across this video by Mystery uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> Misty, let's get these likes up, y'all. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, The Messy Sweet Spot. So I would love to play and stop and react to some of this. Um, and it's titled, Erica Mena Sues Love and Hip Hop uh, for Using Her as Clip Bake After Firing Her. So let's check out the madness. Should've died. You wanna mention my kids? You should've died. Okay, now let's just stop. I have something to say. Erica Mena, you grown. You have to be responsible and accountable for everything that comes out your mouth. Just because they allowed you to behave like this in the past, it should not have given you reason to continue to act like this. You have been acting like this for years on this show, making so much money off of this show. Enough money wasn't enough. You're so greedy. You just have to keep on going on. You didn't look back and see your past behavior and say, you know what? I want to do better. I don't want to be represented like this in a limelight. No, because you did not care and you still don't care today. All you care about is money and greed and it shows. So no, I don't feel sorry for her. She's grown and she have to take accountability for what comes out of her mouth. I don't care what everybody else did. It's almost like this. Say for instance, um, people are speeding on the highway. I get pulled over and I'm telling the officer, but officer, I've been speeding all this week and y'all ain't stopped me. Well, officer, everybody else speeding. Why y'all ain't stopped them? I'm accountable for me at that time. The whole week that I did not get caught speeding, I should have reflected on my driving and said, you know what? I got to slow down. I have to stop for myself and for other people because I could really hurt someone. Did Erica Menon, did she have those thoughts, these words, what I'm saying to Spice could help hurt other people? No, because that's not her heart. And she's very selfish and she is what she displays herself to be. Okay, so let's carry on. So y'all, it looks like we're in for another round of drama when it comes to Erica Mina and Spice because Erica is blowing up as Spice and the entire Love and Hip Hop franchise for trying to throw her under the bus. Now, Erica recently got fired from the franchise, but after the last episode where they brought up her epic fight with Spice, she is now convinced that they are using her as clickbait to get attention and she is not having it. Is she really planning to sue? Thank you. Like, you really woke me up. Like, reality check, like... You can't trust nobody. No, if y'all thought that the whole Erica Mina versus Spice drama was over, well, you better think again because the drama is back in full swing and Erica is not holding back. She's calling out Spice, VH1, and everybody else involved with love and hip hop, accusing them of using her to create a storyline and making her out to be the villain in this whole drama. Now, in case y'all have been out the loop, VH1 fired Erica a couple of weeks ago because she had a very messy fight with they been using your ass and you didn't have a problem with it. You signed up to be used. You know what the game is about. You signed up to be used as a pawn in this entertainment. But now because they fire your ass, now you want to sue? That's funny. With Spice. Things got ugly and Erica ended up calling Spice a very, um, bad word. It all started because Erica felt a type of way about Spice's close relationship with her then husband Safari Samuels. Erica and Safari had a very nasty divorce and it really upset her that he and Spice were tight. The drama then kicked off when Spice got sick and Safari was concerned about her. This rubbed Erica the wrong way and she went off on Safari. Safari made it seem like he quote unquote started crying and 
I went ballistic about it. And I was nowhere near what happened. This caused her to start talking bad about Spice and this eventually got back to Spice, leading to a feud between them. The drama got like so the bad movie, yeah. that their co-star Shekinah decided to step into the situation and take them out for lunch so that they could sort out their issues. Erica finally admitted that she was actually bothered about the fact that Safari cared more about Spice than her. I told Safari what was going on with you. His reaction was, oh my God, I wouldn't know what would happen to me if something happens to Spice. And I said, well, damn, I was your wife pregnant. Almost lost my life and our baby in a really dark time. I was in the hospital, which the whole world saw. Safari made it seem like he quote unquote started crying and I went ballistic about it. But Spice was not about to let Erica off that easy and she called Erica out for trying to use her single mom status to get pity. You're acting like you're the first woman to be divorced and you're the first woman that's left with two children mm -hmm. to fend for. I've been doing it for 14 years. Welcome to the club. Girl, I've been doing it for nowhere. 16. Okay? 16. Okay, with 16 your son that don't TV. like you. Now, the fact that Spice brought up her son made Erica so mad that she flipped the table out of anger. But Spice didn't stop there because she kept talking to Erica about her son's issues, and Erica ended up calling Spice a very bad word. You wanna mention my kid? You should have died. Y'all open the fing door. Let me out. Let me out. I'm gonna keep my shop in here. Let me out. Just one question Do people act like this in real life? I'm sure they do. I just never witnessed it. Have you guys ever witnessed two grown women sitting at the table in a public dining room table and one of them starts to flip chairs because another one was offended by what someone else says? Hell, I, I, I get offended. I'm offended every, every goddamn day. Should I go around flipping the tables? Hmm. <sighs> That, that table flipped. That was a lot. Out! Your son hates you! Your son hates you! You monkey! You blue monkey! Now, fans were furious about Erica's nasty comments and dragged her for Phil. They also pointed out that this wasn't the first time that she had been accused of acting racist and brought up instances like the time in 2015 when she got dragged for allegedly calling a promoter black broke monkeys and effing monkeys after bailing on a paid club appearance. But that's not all because she's also been accused of using similar slurs to Johnny Blaze. So people felt like it was high time for her to face some consequences for her actions. The backlash was very real and the fans. So you mean to tell me that Erica Mena has been using this monkey for all this time and nobody checked her ass on it? And I'm sure people um, talk to her. I'm sure people say, hey, I'm offended by what you said. But guess what? She didn't care that she offended other people. She did not care that she offended a group of people. She continued to use that word in her vocabulary. She continued to use that word to weaponize that word to hurt one person, knowing that it's going to affect so many. She does not care who she offend. So why should other people care about how somebody offending her behind? were rightfully demanding accountability. The backlash eventually got her fired from the franchise and they released a statement saying, the loving hip hop franchise has never shied away from hard conversations in our community. Working hand in hand with our partners, viewers will see the impact of Erica Mina's remarks play out in the final three episodes of the season. Effective immediately, she will not appear in the next season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Now Erica continued to get a whole lot of backlash and she eventually had to release her own statement saying, I deeply regret my insensitive comment and want to humbly apologize to anybody I hurt or offended by my thoughtlessness. My choice of words was wrong and I take full responsibility for what I said. I am committed to listening to the voices of those affected and will work toward making amends. But she didn't stop there because she has also claimed that the words she used for Spice were not racially motivated. She said, as a woman of color, Many people have told you that this word was offensive to a group of people. Many people have told you that it was. 
You know, you know what you did was wrong, but you don't care. And now you want to sit in our face and act like, oh my God, I didn't mean it that way. When you have said this word time and time again, and people have told you from years and prior before, this is what that means to that group of people. That group of people is offended every time you use that word. They don't care that you're talking about one person. It's offensive to a group and you disregard that because you don't care about that person or that group. You can't. Color and the woman of two black children, I want to make it clear that my use of the word was not in any way racially driven. That said, I do understand the gravity of what I said and want to use my platform to promote inclusivity and equality. But it didn't stop there because she was also, I guess, expecting Spice to apologize to her, even though she never really apologized to Spice. A fan left her a comment under her apology saying, did she apologize to you for bringing up your child? And Erica replied, Reply, she will never have the guts, unfortunately. Well, everyone kind of moved on from the drama after that, but things got heated all over again a few days ago when Love & Hip Hop announced that they were going to be airing a special episode to talk about the Spice and Erica incident. They released a statement via Jay's reality blog saying, Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, racism, colorism, and the uncomfortable truth will air after tonight's Love & Hip Hop finale. It will feature Spice, Yandy, Jock, Scrappy, Sierra, Amy, and Rashid who will be discussing the Erica Mena firing as well as their own experiences with racism. Now the fans were feeling all types of ways about this because it wasn't giving sincere. I mean, it's been months since it happened and Network never even apologized for airing the scene. Furthermore, they didn't reprimand Erica or sanction her until fans got mad and started dragging them. And this is why people felt like they were just being performative and trying to save face with that whole episode. Well, it finally aired and Spice started off by saying that the reason people saw her as the aggressor was that she was dark skinned. My whole takeaway is tying back to the color of my skin makes me seem like, oh, the aggressor or whatever. Because I'm of a darker skin tone, they painted me now to be the angry black woman. She then claimed that she accepts responsibility for how her words provoked Erica, but that Erica didn't have to go as far as to call her that word. I can take full accountability for coming for her parenting. Her reply could have been a million other words that's in her vocabulary. Now, to be fair, she does have a point because Erica didn't have to take it that far. She could have definitely used some different words to express her anger with Spice without using... Can y'all please stop? Yes, coulda, woulda, shoulda. She didn't want to. She wanted to use the word blue monkey because she wanted to hit. She had a target and she was trying to break her looks, her, her skin complexion and her facial features. Oh, she could have, she didn't want to. She said what she said. Can y'all accept that? And stop trying to paint something that it's not if a person didn't say it. Well, you could have said, they didn't want to say that. They wanted to say blue monkey and that's what she said. <sighs> comment let us know what you guys think about this i'm done for this on today okay i love you guys make sure you guys like share and subscribe to the youtube channel the messy sweet spot and i want to know your thoughts on this situation regarding erica mena uh spice and love and hip-hop make sure you guys comment below and i will see you guys on another video bye